Hi, I am Ellie. I am a B3 blind paraclimber who is training for nationals and I'm a part of Team Paracliff Hangers. So come with me to our Fun Friday training session. And today we have a break in the rain and we have a little bit of sun in the clouds and it is so pretty outside right now. So let's go climbing. So here is the platform. It's still soaking wet, but the clouds are separating and I have some sunlight. Here's my empty BART train. And right here, I'm showing off a Watermelon Burst C4 energy drink, which they're apparently vegan. And they're pretty good. They kind of taste like watermelon rind. So cheers to that. So my friends Janice and Kevin here picked me up from BART and we went to the Crepe Vine, which is in Berkeley. And it's right by one of the BART stations. And this food was so good. Kevin got a savory crepe with salmon in it. And then Janice and I, we got some sweet crepes with ice cream. And it was so good, you guys. Oh my god. Now that we are at the gym, here is Hannah getting ready to climb this black route. I believe it was a 5-9. And usually I try to remember who the route setter is and what the route name was. Because I do love when I get to know a route setter's style because there are certain ones where they are just puzzles rather than brute force, which I really appreciate when route setters do that. So Hannah's just making her way up here and we did this as our second route, but I decided I'd show this first because a lot of us decided to play on the pink, super big overhung swinging route for a bit and just order wise, it didn't make too much sense to put a break in between the pink route because we, we had a fun time playing with it. So Hannah's still just making her way up here, taking her time, and my camera's a little offset because after I started recording, I noticed that my dog pushed the camera, which is going to be a common theme of today, so that's why you're not going to be able to see the start as well. And I noticed that recently I can do a viewfinder with my Apple Watch. So if anyone records on their phones like I do, that is a great life hack for you. So Hannah's still making her way up and she is going to top it here in a minute. But she is just wonderfully making her way up this wall. And yeah, here she is just taking a quick break, moving the rope from one side of her head to the other since ropes like to get caught in our heads. Because me too, girl, me too. And here she goes. She is topping it, is just out of the camera here. And she is gonna make her way down. I'm just slowly lowering her here because the ropes are a little bit tighter. But Hannah is a pro at getting back into her wheelchair. So she is just gonna hop down the wall here and then bam, gracefully sit into her chair and that is witchcraft, you guys. Now it is my turn to climb the same route and I was able to fix the camera angle here. But right now we're just going through our safety checks. I'm showing off my figure eight. Hannah is showing me that she is locked on the carabiner through the belay loop. And off I go climbing. I am just quickly making my way up this route. And something that I notice with my visual impairment is that when I'm on the wall and my shadow is casted against the route I'm climbing, I mix up greens, blacks, and purples a lot. So you might notice me looking down at the hold and asking Hannah, is this black or is this green? And um, it was a funny little thing I noticed and visual impairment is just such this complex and abstract thing in my head still even though i've been visually impaired my whole life but as my vision changes as i get older and my vision gets worse it's just something that's so weird but i am almost at the top of this wall here and i just quickly moved up it i didn't even have to tell you what i was doing i just flew up the wall and here we go i topped her and here i come down now on to the infamous pink route here. We have our good friend Henry canvassing up it, and I feel like I have to say this again. You have to be incredibly strong to canvas up a rock wall. It is not easy work, and Henry is sure making it look easy here with how effortlessly he's just moving up this wall quickly, and I 
I want to be like him when I grow up. Oh my gosh, he is so strong. So now it's going to be my turn. All right, it is my turn to climb the wall. So here I am, a little nervous. I am uh, setting myself up. I'm going through my bottom loop, top loop, and going through setting up my figure eight, making sure I have five pairs. And they're, they're cute little couples, my one, two, three, four, five, and tied through my figure eight here. And we are talking about pack pipe in the background. We try to go there uh, the 2nd of January and one, the gym was crowded and two, it was 98% humidity inside the gym itself. So the ropes were wet to the touch and it was beyond crazy trying to climb, but we did it. Chalk was just disintegrating left and right, but I'm now yelling at my dog cause he was licking his parts and now I'm showing off my figure eight. So let's walk over and start to climb here. So as a belayer, you want to keep a tight belay on your person, but when there's a, a large overhang like we have here, it's harder to do that because, oh, my dog moved the camera. You want to keep your person close to the wall, but you also want to make sure that if they fall, you have them and that there's not a great swing or anything. So it's a crazy juxtaposition there and it's so second nature to be like, oh, I need to have more slack on my person because of this overhang. Um, and it's it's one of those silly things, but here I am making my way just climbing up the wall here and This this route does not get easier as you climb it. Uh, I wish there was a life hack to it But I am trying to find my spots where I can grab more chalk because this route always Gets me so nervous that my hands are sweating and my dog really tried to set up a cinematic shot here by moving me to the side but um, I hope I'm able to uh get above this wall here so I was able to make progress and get a little bit farther than I have in the past but this was so hard so I'm trying to keep my arms straight but I am bending them as I'm trying to move my legs up and now I'm going to try to throw myself up which I was able to get it but something that it doesn't show in the video is that these holds are so incredibly sandpapery and just rough that you're ripping your hands up as you go up these walls and now I'm trying to find the best foot position to really push myself up. I keep dropping my left leg, so I'm trying to gain momentum to see if I can throw myself again. And here we have, I believe it was my friend, oh, I fell, moving the camera and setting the camera back down for me because I noticed that my dog had taken over my belongings, which is not very nice of him, but you know, his stuff is my stuff, I guess. So here I am back down on the ground. All right, now for one of the coolest events in the video here, we have the Para Cliffhangers co-founder, Emily here on the infamous pink route as well. And she is awesome. She is just kind of measuring up the wall here and is getting ready to climb. In the corner there is Kyle. And him and I, fun fact, actually have matching Crocs, and he's been known to steal mine a couple of times. And now Emily is climbing up that wall. She has great reach with her arms, and she is having phenomenal feet work, smearing on the wall. And so this is just such a treat to be able to include her climbing in a video so you can see her techniques and how great of a climber she really is. And I don't know if I caught it in the video, but after she comes down, you hear her say that she got scared on the wall. So it's not just me who's a little baby climber, it's her too who can be scared of this wall. Cause it really is daunting as I pan up the camera here to follow her as she climbs. It just, it definitely gets a little scary. But she's coming to the part where I usually get stuck at. She's approaching it so well. And she's trying to find a nice handhold here. Great feet work. And she is just pushing through here, trying to find a better handhold. And she comes down. All right, back at it again on the wall is Henry. And here we have Kyle coming in, walking in front of the camera. But it's okay right now here. He has a little job. He's going to pull Henry's chair back to where he thinks Henry is going to land after he comes down from the wall. So he's doing his job and Henry's starting to climb that wall here. And um, Kyle's just gonna stand in front of the camera here and uh, people are trying to get his attention and say, hey, Kyle, Kyle. And um, 
he he finally notices and he jumps out of the way and uh, I always feel bad because uh, whenever I try to get clips of Henry climbing either my camera stops recording randomly or I have a weird camera angle or I pan down to look at my dog but here he is he's climbing now he's doing great again um, he's wonderful at canvassing this is his second attempt here up on this wall and he is working his way up per usual and he's giving it a lot of power and I am actually the one on the secondary belay rope the one that is on the left side here that purple rope and this is my first time giving that sort of belay out because it's different than a regular belay it's similar to what a lead belay is like you are feeding them rope which is pretty cool and he is making his way up he Kyle walking back in front of the camera here but he's making his way up he is really powering through the section here and him and I both get stuck right here um, because it is this is a hard wall you guys I, I cannot stress that enough but here he comes down and back into his chair all right so here I am giving the thumbs up to the camera because it's my turn so I'm swinging my arms around as my friend gets untied Kyle walks in front of the camera again so I said you know what say hi to the camera and we wave um, so yeah we call him coach Funkle and now here I am getting myself into that figure eight here and my friend we're just chatting through the route here because she just did it and we we're saying it's hard Kyle walks in front of the camera again, and he's looking at this yellow route that instead of going up the wall, it goes across to the wall. So as I'm tying in here, he's uh, going to hop on it and climb across this route. So I turn around and I say, uh, excuse me, dude, I was going to climb there. And he's like, yeah, well, you're tying in, so have fun. <laughs> and he's just doing this as a warm up route. And um, he loves to sneak and climbs whenever he can get them. Notice he was climbing that in his Crocs. So I am in my figure eight, um, checking off, saying hi to my friends, we're good. I am getting into the secondary clip here now too, and I am gonna start to climb this thing. So I'm reaching into my chalk bag, psyching myself up mentally. Kyle's walking in front of the camera again, standing in front of it, the usual. <laughs> he remembers once again. And we have another friend walking in front of the camera, and I am going to start climbing. So we have a nice two-hand grip for the start here, and I'm just going to start climbing this wall here like it's a little ladder. And I am really going to try to put a lot of footwork in here. But the hardest part is really using it like a ladder, because that's what your mind wants to do. And this is such a narrow route because I'm used to like wider routes where I can throw my leg across to one side and then push into it. Whereas this one, I feel I have to be skinny. I have to think skinny thoughts, which is so opposite to what I'm used to. And so here's a section that Henry and I get stuck at. So I'm preparing myself. I'm getting chalk on and I'm going to just hype myself up here. More, more chalk, matching, switching, all that fun stuff. I'm going to power myself through here. So I easily, with my left hand, reach up to that big pink hold. And like I said, these holds are so coarse and sandpaper feeling. So I'm just trying to grab holds up here, try to find a nice right foot on these little like pegs on the side. I didn't like how they felt, but I'm going to try to like squish my foot in there. And I slipped because I tried to grab for a hold. I slipped, you can see me, I'm mad at myself because I slipped. I actually hurt my hands and ripped my pinkies open. Um, not bleeding or anything, but it was definitely a little owie, but that was my second attempt on the wall. Okay, so remember how I said that Kyle likes to sneak onto the wall? Here he is, as another one of our friends is getting into her belay setup here and tying in. He is, without a harness, climbing up the pink route here jumps down like he's bouldering it and then his coach side really comes out which is super funny I'm recording you <laughs> so the tables have turned because i put my feet on him 
and he's mad at me. <laughs> so for my final route of the day, I wanted to do this 510B Bam Bam route. And here I go, I'm starting it. And Kyle's telling me how maybe sometimes it's not the best idea to climb in bell bottoms if you have to do a foot match. However, I, you know, I think he's just trying to curse me here. But I'm really giving a great start to this Bam Bam route. And I, I love Bam Bam. I just, I, I purely love Bam Bam because he makes some great problem solving moves. And I think that's a great spot and need for where I'm at right now in my climbing skills. So compared to last time when I climbed this, where I, I tried to like use my head to climb here, I'm just going to jump up and grab that outer bit of that huge sloper and then hook my foot when I can on the little tube type hold there. And I thought that was really genius of me because it saved some of the, the physical strain and by jumping into it, it made me have a better hold. So now I'm getting to a point where I can wedge my leg into that hold because it's just a huge jug. And I'm going to grab some chalk and then I am moving into my next hand holds here and then I'll be able to move my feet up. So I wanted to see how quickly I could climb this Bam Bam route. And right here, yeah, I'm going a little bit slowly, but whatever. And I am powering through that next se <laughs> section. I know how to speak, guys. Don't worry. Here, and I'm at that crimp hold spot. So now I'm going to bring my left leg up and hook it on that next big jug there. And instead of doing, you know, like a heel hook, I know I'm just going to hook my entire leg there. Nice calf hook. And then I have to move my right foot up. I'm going to try to move it onto that little pincher hold right by that right side cling. And I see it. That's the move I know I need to do. And I know I can do it. But it's just getting that flexibility where I'm at right now. Especially since it's the end of the day. And I've been working out my muscles recently. So I'm trying to lean my weight into the right. So then I can bring my leg up. But it's also a nice counter balance. And I made a couple misses. But then I put my foot on the big side cling. And now I know I can go up into that pincher hold so here I am pushing up into it standing it and I topped it in two minutes and 35 seconds after that great topping of that bam bam route it is now time to go home on bark bark so there is my guide dog here is my train approaching so it's now time for me to shower and go to bed but you can just see how tired I am in this next clip here so I wish you guys a great night and I'll see you in the next video